Hey Doris, Everlong Mystic here. <clears throat> so your song is the Changeling. That's <clears throat> interesting. But I mean, I don't know. They're all interesting. I gotta. I'm guilty of using that word too much. So the Changeling. I feel like this song can go a couple ways, maybe even three different ways. So we have just like the mythological interpretation, I guess, of the word Changeling, which is. Like, you're, you're a fairy baby. <laughs> um, then we also have, like, uh, what is it? In this song, it's like how, how he says, like, there's, like, I am the air you breathe. I'm everywhere. I'm everything. It's like, it's very, it kind of talks to me about energetics. Like, we're all energy. We're all a part of everything. Or, you know what I mean? We're all connected in some way. And that's, that's another aspect of it. And then there's uh, what feels like a traveling, like this traveling aspect where, you know, kind of chameleon-like where you can, Taurus, you can probably go anywhere and fit in with any group, no matter what class or what culture or something like that, you know? So we're just going to see where this goes. I want one more soul card for you. One more soul card. Okay, there's right in the middle there's some that want to come out. Let's try Let's try this one more time. All right. One more soul card for Taurus. Too many. Dang it, I really wish I knew which the, what that card was. Hold on. One more time. Practice patience. <laughs> That's three. Ah, do I want three? Well, let's go with it. All right, Taurus. So what do we have here? Gosh, that's funny because we have, this almost feels kind of like changelingy, like the mythological, like you were, it's like you were transported here from another world and you have figured out, like, like you figured out how to blend in and be a part of everything. And then with this card here, this is different. This one kind of feels... This feels like unleashing something. This is different. We might have to pull cards just on that one separately. And then here, yeah, this is that whole... <clears throat> this is that whole, like, I, I am energy. I, I'm energy. I'm a part of everything. And I'm a part of you. You're a part of me. And, you know, like that... I mean, it sounds a little kumbaya or whatever, but... This is knowing, this right here is knowing you're a part of the universe. This feels related to the whole changeling thing. Like this is you. <laughs> it's like this is you before, like you're about to jump into this portal. You're about to go through the wormhole, right? And it's like, you know, you plunge in and you go around and around you go <clears throat> around and around through the portal and <clears throat> it's like this is you in like being transported through this here but it, it can also talk about like just that whole traveling thing where you're able Taurus maybe you're able to travel to different places not just like 3D you know what I mean okay so we have three Three sections here. Let's go ahead and... Oh, you wanted what? Crow? Crow, crow? Hold on, let me pause this and get the crow. Okay. So I have the crow tarot here, and we're gonna we're just gonna pull on each one of these. So this whole, like, transporting through this kind of wormhole thing, traveling, changeling, what is this about? What does Taurus need to know?
What's kind of cool though is like it seems like at the beginning of the journey just this <clears throat> wherever you're traveling to or wherever you have traveled to it because I'm, I'm getting like t it doesn't I can't apply time to this section right here I mean this could have been way past a different life it could be right now it could be in the future I have no idea but it feels like jumping in to this journey right here it seems a little bit um like i don't know not stressful but like there's a, there's a slight apprehension down here right but it's like once you go in it's like you're completely comforted look, just look how comfortable it's like you see clouds and softness in this card and it just feels very like very loving very comfortable I mean, it could be womb-like, or you know what I mean? But without, without like the, the darkness of the womb. All right, so we have the Ace of Cups. And, oh, that is so cool. <clears throat> so we have the Ace of Cups and the Five of Swords. And the Ace of Cups is this here. <laughs> it's this It's this loving, it's this comfortable, loving, beautiful energy that's surrounding you on the journey. And this Five of uh, Swords is like that weird, it's kind of like that weird anxiety or... It's like <clears throat> you've got conflicting thoughts about whether you want to go and jump in or not. You're like, man, how far is it? I don't even know how far it is. How how far is it? Is it going to hurt? You know, like where where is it going to take me? It's like, uh and then final finally finally like you you master the decision because you've got this crow here standing up with two of the swords and that two of swords is like that that deciding, that decision, right? You're deciding on a direction or you're deciding for yourself, right? So I think that's, that's how this, this corresponds here. At least that's how it feels. <clears throat> now let's get a card for this here. This, you, you being an energy, like your, your energetic self. Now I, of course I've noticed that there is Fire on the top and water on the bottom, yet you're an earth sign. So <clears throat> this may be, it may be unfamiliar territory for you. Or at least not the most, not like your go-to, right? Because I know like I'm an earth sign and when I have to deal with fire, a lot of fire, like fire meaning like more like the spicier, angrier kind of things. Um, aggressive, you know, like Marsy stuff. I, it's so uncomfortable for me. Like even hot weather, right? <clears throat> I'm more comfortable with the water, but <clears throat> so there may be. I mean, just being an Earth sign, there you may be feeling out of your element, so to speak, when you when you experience this kind of oneness where you're a, a part of everything. Because there are some things that. You don't want to feel like you have oneness with, right? I mean, we're only human. It's like, I don't want to be one with that. <laughs> but you are. All right, so we have two cards for this. Seven. Seven of Wands. Hmm, this is leveling, this seven, I don't even think this seven of wands has anything to do with the seven of wands, really. I mean, just from what I'm seeing here, because we have, okay, this is what I'm getting here. So we have levels, right? There's levels of feeling oneness. And uh, Taurus, I think, like, look, you've got like these two crows here, <clears throat> they're, they're at this level of oneness. And then these crows here at this level of oneness, but this is kind of like that master crow. It's like, like your goal, right? 
It's like your goal to achieve this much oneness with everything. And it doesn't even matter what, where you are, as long as eventually there's some kind of progression, right? And here we have the seven, oh, you have, you have seven, seven, Taurus. Check this out. Seven, seven. Those are, those are very, that's a very divine number. Seven and 11 are like the most woo, divine numbers for me anyways. Okay, so we have seven of swords. What is this seven of swords telling me? So the biggest crow here, it's, to me, I mean, I'm actually getting a little bit of reciprocity here. I mean, it's, it's not totally balanced, not like it, not as if it was a six, right? But it's like you've got this crow flying away with three swords, right? It's like, I need these swords. I'm going to go ahead and take them because they're, you know, they're, they, they're for my purpose, right? And what's, what's kind of cool is that he's leaving behind two feathers. He's got two feathers here he's leaving behind. He's like, I will let you have these two feathers of mine and I, because I need these swords. It's not like he's stealing or thieving or, you know what I mean? It's like, there's, there's some give, <clears throat> there is some give and take in this, in this situ situation. And I think that when you are, you know, if when you're contemplating your, your levels, you know, because even though we're not supposed to label things and we're not supposed to judge ourselves and blah, 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 but we, we freaking do, right? So whatever level you're on, it's like, don't, there, there is, there is some kind of, you know, some form of reciprocity going on. It's not just, you don't have to, you don't have to resort to like trickery or deception and deception when it comes like even deceiving yourself, like to to level up in this freaking world. You know what I mean? It's like, you may have to go through periods of time, you know, that seem to be super watery or sometimes things heat up, right? But I, I feel like you can, you, you've got this really. And then this is the miss, this is the mystery. Oh, my right ear is ringing bad. Okay. So this is the mystery here. What is this, Taurus? It's like you, this figure is holding up a bowl or something and all of these, all of these energies are coming out of it. Now, I don't know for sure that this is you. I don't know that you're holding this. I feel more like this is something that you are experiencing or will experience. <clears throat> it's kind of like a bucket of new energies, right? It's a bucket of new energies. Okay, so let's pull cards. Let's pull cards on this bucket of new energies. So what is, it feels like this is, this does feel futury for the most part. Okay. So what's this bucket of energy? I almost right away want to say, tell me something good. <laughs> tell me something good. All right, tell me something good. Now, what is this bucket of energy for Taurus? Four of Cups. Okay, so it's a gift for you. That is really cool. Because I am getting a little bit of, of mother energy with this figure here. And then you have, of course, this this cup on the clouds. It's like this this cup is for you. It's almost like you're going to be able to experience the feeling of whatever this cup is. And this cup is basically like the new energies. This these this energetic gift for you. <clears throat> you're gonna be able to feel it as soon as you can recover from whatever these three cups are. <clears throat> it reminds me of a line in a 
what is it? It's a Chris Cornell or Soundgarden song where it's like, I'm looking California, but I'm feeling Minnesota, something like that. That's, that's what I'm getting from this. It's like, <clears throat> these three cups down here, I'm, or I'm feeling Minnesota. It's like, there's, it's, it's that snowy, it's snowy, it's rocky, it's cold, it's barren. Those cups are not for you. You know, they, the cups didn't work out. But this here, this is like the California cup. It's full of sunshine. But the the area around it is bright and sunshiny and there's air and there's trees and there's, you know, there's like this crisp, fresh newness to it. And I think that is this new energy that is being gifted to you. Okay, very cool. <clears throat> All right, I didn't need my other Oracle deck. I feel like this is good. This is good. And um, Taurus, I thank you for embracing your inner mystic. And I will see you next time. Bye, Taurus.